Hey guys, I want to talk to you a minute, uh, give you some help, might help you with this application. The application seems to be working smooth with iPhones and iPads and Android devices. Now, I've tested the app on an iPhone and I've tested it on my iPad and I've tested it on the Droid. It seems to be working smooth. Got a, a little bit of feedback. Uh, some of you saying that the API key is not working for you. The developer and I cannot duplicate that error seems to be working for us, but I think I can show you some things that, that might help you and ensure that you're able to put in that API the correct way. Uh, again, when you download the app, you get the motivational videos without being a member, but to unlock the features, you must be a member of Shibboleth, therefore you must use your API code. We didn't want to devalue you uh, or your membership by giving the entire program away for 99 cent. Uh, now, we will be coming out with new features next year. We're going to have to lock it down, batten down the hatches to the end of the year, having to really cut some costs, cut some expenses. Uh, but we do plan on making the app better, adding uh, all kind of new robust features to the app next year, Lord willing, assuming the resources come back. So uh, we're looking at adding scanning technology, uh, the full databases just for the members. So good stuff coming. But let me show you this. I'm going to get into my app here. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the way out and you can see I've got a different little icon uh, for my application it's that little robot there so I'm gonna press the robot Oop. I have a yoga app that come up we don't want yoga all right let me go back to my robot here's my robot I'm gonna click it all right now it went right to the place that I was I was at last this is my journal as you can see I've made an entry I've had a perfect day. I've added one entry to my food log. Uh, I've added the, the time that I woke up. Uh, my motivation's at a 10. My weight, 210. I walked five miles this morning, and I have not input any water. I have had water. I need to input it. So let's do that now. I'll go in there, and I'll input the water. I've had a quart of water so far. I won't tell you how many Diet Cokes I've had. And then... Uh, I've got to make sure on each screen that I save it. I'm going to save this. Okay. And then when I save it, I can see now that the water shows up, 32 ounces of water. And then I've got my journal notes. I love the Android uh, because i got my journal notes there. And I'm going to type some stuff. And I'm just going to record my voice with my Android. I'm having a great day, looking forward to having a savage day. Got up early this morning, established my creed, established my daily method of operation, and I am going to nail it. All right, so now it is in there. Let it focus, it's in there, and I'm just gonna save it. I've gotta make sure that I save each page. Now it's back to that page. A lot of people have said it's not saving. So let me back out of that. I'm going to go to a blank page. There's a blank page. Now I'm going to forward back up. And you can see the data is still there. Seems to be saving fine. You've got to save it on each page. Now I'm going to click the upload button at the bottom. I want to sync this with my website journal. The app doesn't collect our points. The website journal does. And you're going to want those points. So you want to sync it to your website. The website, it, that's, that's where we need the data. So for those of you that prefer an app, trust me, you want to make sure that you're using the app and you're syncing your journal because next year that's when it's going to get exciting when we return to zero and you get to see all those points you've accumulated. So I'm going to click upload and it says um, your website journal has been successfully synced. You can't see that. It looks like my camera is going to focus or the, the desktop camera is not focusing. But it says your website journal is now updated. I click OK. All right. So that's the first thing. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. Next. When you're first signing up, signing in, you've got to make sure that when you're putting in your login, which mine, I have several, but let's say that I'm using my username login 
Travis. That's one of them that one of the accounts that I have on the website. Just Travis. So I have to put that in, uh, and it is case sensitive. And then the API key, I'm going to get my API key, and it's case sensitive. But here's the main point. When, when you see the little fields, the boxes pop up, When you see the, the field pop up, this is my food log, but when you see the field pop up, I need you to backspace all the way to the front because I've seen some phones where you can't tell it. You can't tell it, but the little cursor is over a space or two. And then if you put your API in right where the cursor is flashing, then it's your API key or your login is going to have two, one to two spaces in front of it and that's what throws it off and we're, we're trying to figure out why that happens on some phones and not on others so backspace all the way to the the far left of the field you want to backspace all the way to the far the the far left of the field to make sure there's no spaces between the where the first letter goes and the first letter of the api so backspace all the way to the left of the field, then put your username, then put your API, and I think that will solve some of, some, some of your problems.